Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, figure I'd do a quick video on an overview of my actual Yokomo YD2 SX3 drift car setup. Um, I mean, I've been running for a little while, tried out different kind of tires and different kind of setups, added on a couple of things and stuff, and uh, yeah, let's just walk it through. So... Beautiful, beautiful chassis. I love this freaking car, man. It's um, all carbon fiber composite. And uh, I was trying to go with the black and red theme. So all of these wires here, I went ahead and uh, I went ahead and uh, re-sleeved them and um, did the ends here. Did the same with these. So all the wires that were like different colors, I just went through and just re-sleeve them so I'll start from the top um, I got the custom year racing brace at the front here um, nice cheap little piece kind of sets off the rest of the car you know like it then we'll move on to the servo uh, I tried to find something that wasn't too 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 out there too too expensive so I went with a Savox black um, pretty quick responsive works really well for what i do um got the gyro the yokomo dp302 drift performance this is the v4 that's the new model um this works really well all the way from beginner all the way to advanced or expert level gyro just kind of helps you to keep the car stable um i'll turn it on and show you what that does in a little bit then just got a 100c LiPo battery underneath there. Let me take this out. Um, whatever was cheap on, on Amazon. Works really well. Um, it lasts it lasts a long time. 5,000 mAh. Probably gives me maybe full run, maybe about like 35, 40 minutes. Um, depending on if I do full throttle the entire time. Um, hobby wing, quick run, uh, 3650 motor. That's a 8.5 T motor. Um, I was, I was looking at a couple of reviews and stuff. This is a good motor and stuff, but it's not really the best for this, um, application. You probably want to get maybe a 10.5 T or 13.5 T, something that's a, a little bit slower, has more torque. Um, but for the most part, it works well for my, for me. Um, and coupled with the uh, quick run 10BL120, that's a uh, censored ESC. Um, also pretty good. This is, I think this is all the way up to 3S capable. Um, of course, I'm just running 2, 2S. Um, what else I got on here? Oh, I also got the Yeah Racing fan on the top here. This guy. Man, this thing is loud when it kicks on. Nice. Keeps everything cool. Um I don't I have never really had problems with actual thermals. Um I, I guess based on the gearing that I'm using, it's not stressing the motor at all. I just went with it because, you know, it's it's freaking cool, man. Look at that sucker. Aluminum shroud on the side and it just sets off the entire build the black and red and that chrome look nice and lastly i went with the uh onisuka um booster on the top here that's also another nice little aluminum finish piece gives it that nice finish so there you go um wheels Went with the Yokomo wheels, the white. I also have the uh, those um, gunmetal looking ones. Um, these are the carpet tires. Been trying these. I think I do a lot better on carpet than I do on asphalt. Um, it depends. Well, it depends on the surface. So like, I run it sometimes on the hardwood floor, um, and uh, it takes a lot more skill, a lot more precision for you to be able to control it. Um, <laughs> And you have to watch your throttle. When it comes to carpet, 
carpet is, I think it's a lot more forgiving. It feels like you can push the car a little bit further and it, it, you actually keep the control. So it's pretty cool. Um, I didn't talk about the receiver, jeez. So receiver that I got in there is the Flysky Noble. And before, um, I was using the the other Fly Sky. I'd have to look it up. I'll put it in the description. But um, I, I feel I felt like I didn't have the precision to do the turning. But with this, man, this thing is on another level. Um, I guess I'll do a different video on that one. But when it comes to like your turning, it just it's a lot more smooth. A lot more control you get a lot more precision and with these cars you need precision if you're gonna you know be able to control the car in a good drift so yeah that's that's pretty much it the kit itself is in my mind phenomenal i haven't really messed with a lot more kits um and none of the ready to runs or the kit um drift cars anything like that but when it comes to this the dampers, just building this thing was just a, it was a complete pleasure, you know, just building these dampers, putting together all of the, the electronics, everything on here, man. This thing is ridiculous. Oh, I didn't show you my freaking, um, uh, my Brembo, my Brembo kit. <laughs> Check that out. And also on the back. I couldn't get the back to fit properly. Like, you know, normally you have the brake caliper around here. Um, but based on where these joints were, it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't allow me to do that. So I kind of just fit it up there. It's kind of weird, but still kind of cool. Works. It didn't. It, it's not stopping the wheels. As you can see, it's free flowing on the wheels. You know, and I put like a little piece of red tape on here. To give it that, you know, contrasting. Neat. Alright, let me pour this on really quick. Got the body as well. Did the, uh, the new super body. I've been looking for the light buckets. I don't know where the hell to find these. I've seen these. I don't know where to find them, but I just put the stickers on there. Hopefully I'll be able to find the actual light buckets. It's gonna set set off the body a whole lot more. I put in these little screws in there to kind of set off that wide body kit to give it the that authentic JDM wide body. Um, I think you're supposed to actually paint the side here too, right here, black. Didn't want to do that, so just stick with red on the body. Got that nice. Um, flake in the paint couple of layers did that so around by the back here put all of these little screws on the back and the stickers here again i want to get like a if i can get like a light to actually go there like a brake light and here too for these brake lights and not the stickers all in time just kind of trying to keep it clean um i don't really bash around on this one i actually use another one of my uh, the S13 or S15 body. Look at that glisten. Yeah. And the inside is black. And just put some uh, some tape here to hold on the magnets. magnets. Right down there. So just jump on the top. Oh. Easy peasy. I'll probably just run this in another video. But this is just an overview of the actual kit, the my build, what I've done. Let me plug it in. Turn that sucker on. Of course, power on your receiver first. I turned off all of that stuff on the receiver. It normally has like a startup sound and a whole bunch of different beeps and boops. It's annoying. I turned that crap off. Set my channel here. I'm going to set this to like about 70%. Yeah. There you go. And turn on the car. Put the switcher on the back here. Is that fun? Oh, it's flashing like this because it's not receiving a signal yet. 
and adjust it. Boom. So now it's on green. And that's a gyro in action. It's just like a real car, like when you're sliding or whatever, it, the car actually tries to correct itself. So I have mine to about 70%. You can put it to 100% and it, it basically drifts for you. You just start a slide and then just keep the throttle, keep the maintain the throttle and it just keep us keep a drift for you. Which is pretty cool if you're doing like beginner level, but I'm trying to step it up a little bit, trying to understand the level of the car, whatever, and the capabilities. So I turn mine down. And uh, you also have a normal mode and uh, hard mode or something like that. That's also, you know, basically like basic and intermediate or novice and intermediate level. But yeah. So yeah, as you can hear with both of these fans running, it's it's pretty loud. <laughs> Sensored motor, so you can go a little bit. Brick. Uh, these batteries are almost. I need to probably charge the battery, but it, it's a little more powerful than this. That's pretty cool. That's how quick it goes. You can see the gyro acting, so when I let go, it slowly turns back. Turn, and it slowly turns back. That's what the gyro does for you. Without that, it, it's you, you're gonna have to be on, a, <laughs> on an astronomical level to control this thing, um, because you know you don't do full turns. It's like you do fractions of turns. Like that, you see, that's, that's the amount of turn that you do when you're actually trying to control the car. So it, it's uh, it's a lot of precision, man. And same thing with your throttle. You don't want to use a whole bunch of throttle. It's literally probably about like this. Let's see if I can do a quick preview. My awful drifting skills. Super body under this thing just looks mean. I love it, man. Yeah, so I mean, I've been trying to find like the actual tracks. Um, the actual drift cracks that's probably a little bit nearby me um, still on the hunt for a good one um, definitely want something that's indoor I haven't tried like a full scale you know drift track with you know carpet or anything like that or even asphalt um, just been kind of messing around at the park or probably indoors or like set up the garage um, but it looks like it's on a let me turn this off this thing's right. Still on a hunt for a for a good uh, drift track. Um, this thing, is, I mean, like the entire hobby is great. Um, I actually prefer to do this at least for right now because a lot of the stuff you know we can do indoors. Um, should be getting a basher a little bit later on this week or today or whenever. So I'm gonna do an unboxing about that. Um, looking forward to that. It's that 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 car should be huge. Like. The full length of the table, probably. But I'm gonna check that out and I'll show you guys what's up. Um, that's it, pretty much. Any questions? Let me know. Um, I'm learning as I go along. I don't know a whole bunch, but I try my best to learn as I go along. Um, 
anything I can actually share would be helpful to you guys. Let me know. Peace.